Well, you know, physical fitness isn't the only way we got to worry about fitness these days. Most of us have a pretty keen eye focused on our financial fitness as well right now because inflation and that looming threat of a recession is still out there. Brian Loy from Sage Financial is here to talk a little bit about what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. And I guess the big first thing is don't panic, right? Absolutely. <laughs> keep, keep your head. Yeah. I mean, last weekend we went up to Coeur d'Alene for a wedding and it was amazing. We were going to fly up there and we were going to rent a car and the costs were just outrageous. And we ended up driving through five states. It was a gorgeous drive, but gas cost anywhere from $4 to almost $7 a gallon. Gas has gone up 43%. Inflation's hit everybody, whether you're young trying to rent a house or buy a house or take care of kids. Um, seniors were trying to retire and stay retired and business owners. There's a scarcity of products, scarcity of labor, and our margins are declining. So how do you weather this storm of this recession? Well, now we're all depressed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me you know. give you some good, I mean, we give you some good news. Yeah. The reality is these, these kind of bear markets or recessions happen periodically. And it seems like everyone's surprised when they do happen. But here's some tips. Three things you can do. One is increase your income. Two is reduce your costs. And three is to have a plan. We'll talk about all three of them. Okay. Having an income. Um, go back and go back to work, or would, just find a job. Go back to work. Maybe don't. Maybe work longer. Maybe if you are working, is to retool. Be more marketable. Upgrade yourself to get the next best opportunity. Investment-wise, can you earn a little bit higher return? People are so concerned about protecting what they have, stuffing it in the mattress, which earns absolutely zero. You got to keep your money working for you. As far as expenses goes, what can we do to trim costs? Maybe defer a trip. Credit cards, credit cards, variable rate debt and interest rates are going up. Mm -hmm. Why not reduce your credit card debt? Another one is insurance costs or even downsizing or resizing your home. So reevaluate where you are. Absolutely, right, okay. which is about a plan, which is a great quote by Dennis Waitley. It's expect the best, plan for the worst and prepare to be surprised. <laughs> so talk to your financial advisor, Aaron. Yeah, and, and just, Pretty much stay the course. Don't don't panic. Don't start pulling your money out and making a big change. Don't probably not panic, but take a look at what you got. There's an old saying, it's better, it's probably better not to change horses midstream, but maybe there are some just tweaks you can make just so that you can sleep at night and feel better. Because who knows how long this is gonna last. It'll be over at some point though. Now do you think we're headed for a recession? The experts say yes, that it could be happening later this year, early next year. There are business owners that I talk to that say we're already in a recession now. Well, we can't, we can't control that. We can't All we control. can do is control how we react to it and Abs how we do absolutely. it, Absolutely. Right? Somebody showed me this great graphic. They said, Imagine all the problems that you have in life every day and look up at the sky and see all the stars and put, a, put your hand up and make a circle of here's all the stuff we can control, the rest of it we can't. So why don't we forget about that? Another one is you put your hand up, you know, what are things that are important? Yeah. What matters? What if you combine those two circles? What's important and what can you control? If we can just focus on that, better in life, just like taking care of your financial or your, your physical health, yeah. take care of your financial health. Absolutely. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Thank you Thank for you. having me, Erin. Brian Lowe with Sage Financial. Thank you. Thank you.